Hey all so it turns out you can actually start playing the new DLC Phantom Liberty for Cyberpunk 2077 a little early. But you have to win a lottery and you have to register way ahead of time. Now, for some parts of the world, it's already a little too late. For instance, um, August 5th, the first stop for it was Warsaw, Poland on August 5th. And now Cologne, Germany was on August 25th, but supposedly registration already ended for that one. But anyways, let me back up a little bit. So Cyberpunk 2077, Fan of Liberty is officially coming on September 26. Hooray. Maybe. But developer CD Projekt Red is actually giving some fans the opportunity to try the expansion out much earlier. Unfortunately, to be one of those lucky few who try to get it, you'll need to be in a specific city. So you got to be in a specific city that they're going to pick ahead of time in order to be chosen from that random lottery. Or if you know about it, you register, which I wasn't really tracking on it, so I haven't registered, but... You never know. And I want to see if we could find out exactly where you will find out where this goes. Okay, so as I already said, it's random. Warsaw, Poland's already been picked. Cologne, Germany is next. And the next one coming up will be Tokyo, Japan. On awesome site, but you have to live within that city. So uh, maybe some of you VPN wizards can figure something out. Um, there are several other cities listed, but the only one with a date at the time of this is Sao Paulo. Wait, Sao Paulo? Sao Paulo! I think that was a uh, in a... Tears of the Dragon song, Brazil on September 17th. So right here, boom, we got a little Twitter. Twitter, is it X or is it Twitter? I'm still going to call it Twitter. Uh, calling freedom always comes at a price. Phantom Liberty, a spy thrill expansion for Cyberpunk 2077. Arrives on September 26th. Pre-order now. Um, I'm going to say it right now. CD Projekt Red does not deserve pre-orders. No. You, you, you still screwed up quite, quite awfully when it came to your last little debacle okay so outside of these locked in dates you project red also has plans for stops in beijing interesting seoul paris and london seemingly these will all have before september 26 but it's not clear exactly when it'll take place uh looks like the united states gets zero love which yeah, anyways. Uh, seemingly, these will all happen for September 26, but it's not clear exactly when they'll take place. Regardless, it's a sizable collection of cities, giving plenty of players the chance to hop in early. I have a feeling, though, they're doing this. Here's my theory. They're doing this so everybody gets a chance to play it ahead of time. They're going to drum up some hype. And then they're going to let all these people that are selectively picked. Because let's be honest, your average player will probably not be chosen. It'll be... Lots of backdoor deals, YouTubers with studios, all that good stuff. With their hands in the right pockets, greasing palms, all that stuff. And they will be chosen in order to get the most coverage. They're not going to pick your average Joe who has like not even a channel that he's going to be able to stream it on or whatever. They're going to pick somebody who's well-placed and they can really show what the DLC is capable of. And they're probably doing this to draw a pipe in order to get people to want to spend money on the DLC and get those pre-orders going. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Um, as for that, you know, Cyberpunk 2077 literally is out on September 26 for PlayStation 5. Interesting, Xbox Series XS and PC. I'll tell you what right now. Um, they had better really optimize the hell out of it. I know I'm getting this dumb commercial. Optimize the hell out of it because uh, Cyberpunk 2077 on my PC right now, it's like I have 11 gigabyte uh, game card. 64 gigabytes of RAM. I have a I have an i7 processor, but it's it still struggles quite a bit. It's not exactly the best. So PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, I don't know. I I, I don't know if that's still going to run as well as they think or maybe maybe they learned their lesson and they spent all this time uh making sure it's nice, neat and polished. So my theory is um they are going to have completely optimized and they're going to have people selected probably from all three of these different platforms in order to play their game, in order to drop enough hype for all the pre-orders. All right. So that's pretty much it. Outlaws, see you later.